This is a little bit of a PSA type of a video. And what I mean by that is we're at Roach Harbor, having a great time, 4th of July, mm -hmm. but there's a ton of boats here. And I was going in just to check some of the status on our Victron system, because you can just do that on an app on your phone, see what the state of charge is and all kinds of other great stuff. But we noticed, as many of you probably have that have Victron systems, this is just a representation of all the systems we can connect to that uh, our Bluetooth is picking up. And you'll notice there's a ton of them. And a lot of them aren't ours, but we can get on them. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you how to fix that because you spent too much money on your lithium batteries or all the other pieces of your system. And somebody, if they were malicious, they can do some real damage. So welcome aboard. If you haven't seen our channel yet to the Elliot, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for everybody who continues to follow along with us. Join us on the Elliot as we realize our five-year plan with the kids grown up, moved out, graduated from college. We take the dog, sold everything, and kitted out the boat so we can cruise the Pacific Northwest all while living and working in the heart of Seattle. So this is where we have a bunch of different Victron systems showing up. A lot of them are what they call BVMs, so basically battery monitors, uh, and they're connectable by Bluetooth. Um, is connectable a word? You can connect to them with Bluetooth. So, but here's the crazy part. Uh, there's a default password on these, and it is, well, it's six zeros, and it's no big secret, because if you try to log on to them, the first thing it tells you is the default password is six zeros. No news flash there. So there's an example right there. When you first log in, it tells you right off the bat, you're using the default pin. Change it immediately. Somebody might get on your system and jack you up. <laughs> Doesn't say that verbatim, but it's pretty much what you gotta be get worried the idea. about. However, um, we have a bunch of these sitting on here. And well, what's a good example? Uh, battery outboard one. Um, it's so, not ours. It's not ours. And right here, it's just connecting to it right now. And ultimately what's going to happen is we're going to be able to get on to this system. <laughs> now, we're not going to get on their system and show you all the things going on on theirs. Uh, but let's show you what you can see on one of our systems and show you why this is so important that you get this changed out. And you protect yourself from basically being hacked. Mm -hmm. um, and you're not really being hacked. You just left your password clean open so somebody can come mess with you. But here, I'll, we're going to show you, first of all, up in the left-hand corner here, there's a little wheel. And if we click on that wheel, it has a menu that has battery and all kinds of other things that you can have on here. You can set alarms, etc. But you can go through and you can change... Uh, you know, the battery settings, what the capacity is of this particular bank of batteries and and uh, how far they can discharge before they'll disconnect or have alarms, etc. If somebody goes into your system, they can mess with that. If you have lithium ion phosphate batteries, I don't have to tell you how much those cost. And if you're thinking about getting them, it's a significant investment. All you have to do is have one person go in and you know, monkey around with that, and they can set your discharge levels extremely low. They can mess with your state of charge, and all that really means is they can put in parameters where there can be some serious damage done to your system um, that can strand you in the middle of nowhere. If you're lucky, you can recharge your system and recover. But worst case scenario, if you go below, uh, you know, some of the thresholds on your battery, especially if you don't have a battery management system that's keeping track of those types of things, you can do damage to your batteries. So just as a PSA, look, it's super simple. You just go in and it'll even warn you when you go into the application, it'll say, warning, you uh, have the default password and you need to change it mm -hmm. right now. Don't overlook that. Go in, get it changed and you no longer have to worry about that. It's only six digits. Heck, you can put in your dog's birthday, and you're set, if you know what your dog's birthday is, or <laughs> if you have a dog. We don't need to belabor it, but you know, if you look at this list, look at this list of different devices out there, you know, in this marina right now, th there's a ton of them. Ton. Yeah, and so, uh, I don't know, it's, it's just super important to get in and do that. If you have a Victron system, 
I know a lot of people don't load the app onto their phone. They just kind of consider it, you know, my installer put it in and they told me just to set it and forget it. But a lot of the installers, they don't make that change of updating the pin. Um, and it needs to be done because like I said, it'd be super easy. It would wreak havoc with Elliot mm -hmm. if somebody got on to our systems mm -hmm. and changed all of those settings. Um, I can't even imagine. I mean, with the auto start from our gen set that we have set up, somebody turns that off, that would be a problem. I mean, I could go on for probably an hour and a half of all the things that, could that go would wrong. be <laughs> devastating if somebody changed those basic settings in our system. So, uh, thanks a lot for joining us. Make sure to jump right on, get to your boat, get to your RV, whatever you need to do if you've got Victor on. Get those, those pins updated and have a wonderful cruising and driving summer for those of you that are in uh, RVs. And we'll see you next time. If you have a, oh, look, someone's come to say hi to us. Guess we'll be back.